Tie game, fourth quarter, second a goal. A fake reverse, Milton, almost like a basketball player. Touchdown! What a play! He put a move on and then delivered the pass. 40 left in the half. They get the ball to start the third quarter. Trick, Trick play. play. Trey Sermon downfield. Wide open is Brown. Cutting back. Sooners on the go again. Actually, he was coming from the slot, I believe. Nope. Show block. Turn back out. Beautiful execution. Again, the poise of the freshman back, Trey Sermon. Knows he's going to get hit. Stays in there and delivers the strike for the big play to set up the Sooners again. Touchdowns. Jalen Nelson, the Wildcat quarterback, the pitch, now the throw, game straight there, touchdown. Okie's crowding the line, it's a reverse, Barrios looks to throw it, and the quarterback's wide open, and Rogier makes a catch out near midfield. So Barrios involved in various ways. Always be prepared, Beth, for fakes. And here is one, Chase Muba will throw it. Uh, first down, Virginia Tech. I don't want to say I sniffed that out, but <laughs> in a situation like this, you got a couple weeks to prepare. You got to know. It's a the backwards situation. pass to Walker, who throws it, and it's wheeled in by Holmes. Justin Holmes will score, and the Spartans are on the board with a trick play. 54 yards. A double reverse and Ratliff the pass. Nathan Elliott, the third quarterback inside the five. Little flea flicker down deep. Cut. Trickery here, the pass thrown back to Brown from Jeff Smith. Touchdown, BC. And then Anthony Brown was sharp, he's accurate. Watch the replay here, gutsy call to make, but it sets up this defense perfectly. Catches the Virginia Tech Hokies defenders, eyes in the backfield as Anthony Brown sneaks back out into the flat. You're never really expecting the quarterback to run a wheel route. And, and a nice throw there by the former starting Boston College quarterback. Xavier Sabach. Fake. And it's going to be the first down and more inside the 30. Look at the vision. Look at the helmet. Who's looking for the football? Nobody's looking for the football in the backfield again on fourth down. And the pass is caught. Colin Rostander threw the ball. Down to the goal line, the trickeration, and that was his snapper, Tyler Kluver, on the receiving end. That ball With hung up for us. Injured on that last play. That pass is caught. A little razzle dazzle from the Eagles. Jaron Johnson makes the throw. 43 yards. Yeah, that might have been one of the craziest by that defense. The throwback to the quarterback. Ellinger got some blockers in the Mountaineer territory and down to the 30-yard line. Ratliff Williams in motion. That's a backwards pass. He throws. Touchdown, Bo Corrales. Ethan Rourke with 90 rushing yards, 10 yards away from his fourth 100-yard rushing game of the season. And a little deception from the Bobcats. The pass, Rourke catches it, touchdown. Touchdown from Brendan Cope. And Tim Albin is emptying the playbook in Akron, Ohio tonight. Tackle stepping out and, and grabbing Kaiser. Little flea flicker. Walker running deep. Brown trying to hit him and in stride. Walker the catch. Quentin Blanding did Anthony Brown. Man, what a laser. How about this? 
<laughs> you little trickery and right on cue. There's another trick play. The throwback to Finley. Finley's got Samuels. He's got some green. Touchdown, NC State. Thirty-nine yards, Dustin. You don't often see two trick plays in a row. Razzle dazzle, reverse play, throws into the end zone, passes, caught, touchdown, it. Pittsburgh. Pass is caught by Nathan Bossery, the tight end. <laughs> who hasn't seen too much time, but in the extra point lineup here, makes the most out of it, bobbles it, but comes down with a huge play on this trick play for Pitt. Chug it off the quarterback's bottom of your screen. They're gonna flip it to him. Here's Chug it off to throw it. Marcus Sims down, he's got it. And now Smith will take it, and here's the reverse. Toss it back, Manning. Heave it, and it's caught. Carter has it inside the 10. Touchdown. Georgia State. The trick play to perfection. Remaining eventually into the hands of the true freshman Roger Carter. And the celebration is on for Georgia State. Motion in the swing out to it. Desmond White. He can throw it and he throws it back to Kenny Hill. Hill's got open space and an escort and Hill waltz into the end zone. Touchdown Horn Frogs. Turpin as well. Turpin to throw back to Hill. What's Kenny Hill going to do? Pick up a first down with a 360. To the 20. Kenny Hill is in for the touchdown. TCU takes the lead right back. The arse. He's basically going to clear out the entire defense for West Virginia. And then you're going to see Kenny Hill kind of leak over to that side of the field. Look at Turpin, pretty good ball. <laughs> and then it's David Long really with the only opportunity for a West Virginia defenseman to get after him. And after that, it's, it's Hill with the speed. I mean, that's the kind of athleticism that we've seen from Kenny Hill throughout the course of the season so far. We haven't seen in this game. And coming into today's game, Will Greer second for a quarterback in the Big 12 rushing. Kenny Hill's third. Quarterback in the two quarterback system. All right, we trick action here. Looking long and settling short. And it's Cole Herdman. And why not? The big tight end will get in. That was some check down, Spencer. It was a check down attempt from the side up here. What you could see was the set of the offensive line as if they were setting up. You could knew something. If it wasn't a run, that it was some type of play where they knew they had to show up protection. I knew they were up to something. Tight end goes down the field, does a nice job of moving. Here's Schramm. He fakes it. Flags. He's got the first down. How about that, Billy? The fact that Nick Schrader ran that ball after, if you remember last yes, year, they had fourth and 40 something, yes. and he ran the ball, and Jeff Munkin almost lost it on him. I wonder if I'm talking Optimism to in Columbia, Missouri. Foreman on the reverse. Sam Ellinger throwing a block, and Foreman caps off a win in the Lone Star State. Nelson wants to throw. Stays on his feet. Now he's. Did Breland hang on? He did. Charles Nelson out of Florida, dynamic athlete. Things haven't gone his way, but he stays balanced. Eyes up, and then all of a sudden, okay. Chase Hans, you think you got me? No, you don't. Finds his redshirt sophomore tight end, Jake. But look at that. A game of inches, JB. He's in great shape. This could be a double pass. Back to Wasink. Wasink the catch. John Wasink, a touchdown from Western Michigan. Porter Gustin nearly intercepted that, and Wasik somehow came away with it. Syracuse, this is four down territory. Devin C. Butler looking to throw, floats one downfield, caught, touchdown, Irv Phillips. Devin C. Butler, a high school quarterback.
And that's the second time he's thrown a pass a group of running backs in the land. Flea flicker to get the night started. Downfield looking for Godwin into his hands. And guess which dogs are barking first? Uga, get after it. Good opening drive. Quick throw, second pass coming to Nall. He's there. And Nall catches a floating, a dirigible pass for a touchdown. Third and goal. Hornybrook, it's a throwback screen. Blockers in front. Touchdown. And it is Michael Dieter. The left tackle. You see the end man on the line of scrimmage, 63. He fakes blocking. Quarterback's got to sell it. Sprint out to the right. Look at the steel curtain going back to the backside. All of his buddies, all of his buddies are saying, you better get in the end zone on this because they didn't block anybody after somebody recognized it. And that was a backwards pass, so it's a rush for Dieter. And it's got to be a backwards pass with number 63. Big man knew what to do with it. Yeah, he was a little rusty on the spike here, but I'd like to see a little bit better dance. Third down and two. Carry on. There's the jump pass. Gary Cole. Touchdown. Second in the FBS. Stefan flints off, punches it away. It's a high boot. Jane A. Harris drifting over near the sideline. And the Bruins forgot about him. And Harris galloping down the sidelines. It's Pittman. Check it. Touchdown, USC. And watch, here's the ball. Watch the ball go off to the right. The entire UCLA coverage unit is following Harris. Nobody's with Pittman. I don't know how USC timed this up to anticipate that the punter would punt it in the wrong direction, but Pittman looked like he knew it was coming. Everybody's working to the left. The ball comes off his foot to the right. Flint off goes, wait a minute, where, where's, where's my guy here? He's panicking at this point. <laughs> He's like, fellas, fellas, we got an issue over here. And the issue is there, I'm down 7 nothing. It's a reverse. Lamb throws it to the quarterback and Mayfield catches a touchdown pass. And goes sprinting down the field. <laughs> Trickery from Riley and the Sooners stretch the lead. C.D. Lamb sold it well. Didn't flip the ball oh, to no. his right hand. Oh, it was no. very I think the right now he's thinking I'm going to run. And then once they commit, then he just said, okay, you're just going to give it to me. I'll take it. He did a really good job of making that defense respect it. He's accelerating right there at the seven yard line. You better come up. He just dumps it off for a first down. Rosen fakes the spike. 